Hello, and thank you again for joining us for our YouTube web series. My name is Dr. Randall Lindstrom, and I'm one of the chiropractors here at Atlantic Spine and Health Clinic. Today we're going to discuss uh, a simple stretch that we provide some of our patients who are again dealing with uh, low back uh, dysfunction, pain, uh, sciatic presentations. Uh, as human beings, we often tend to spend more time seated than we really ought to. And so uh, the nature of that is that it's very compressive on the low back seated in a position and you're constantly kind of down, you have a lot of pressure on the tailbone. Uh, and under those circumstances, uh, you know, the spine uh, becomes a little bit more uh, vulnerable and we usually feel dysfunction as a result of that. Uh, what we here find is that, you know, oftentimes the things that we do throughout the day sort of dictate sometimes our symptoms. Uh, and, and oftentimes when you're sitting in a position like this, some of the muscles that tend to be short are the hamstrings, uh, also the hip flexor. Uh, and most of us can tell when we have tight hamstrings, it's very simple. When we bend over to touch our toes or we try to put our shoes on or something of that nature, we feel like we can't quite get down as far as we maybe once did. Uh, but hip flexors are a little bit harder to, to, to identify as far as being tight. Uh, and oftentimes people don't even really know what they are. Okay. So today we're going to go over a little bit of a stretch where you can kind of focus in on trying to attack the hip flexors to try to see if you can alleviate some of the pressure that happens on the front side from sitting that oftentimes can lead uh, to a lot of dysfunction in the posterior quadrant or in the lumbar region. So for this particular stretch, we're going to start off by taking a kneeling position. We're going to want to put our front leg a little bit uh, further forward so we have some uh, room to maneuver. And with this particular stretch, the real focus of this is to try to stay really tall. We really want to focus on not trying to extend uh, but actually trying to be uh, more of a neutral position. So we'll glide forward, and really the end of the stretch here, what we're really going to want to focus on is trying to twist or tilt our pelvis posteriorly so that we can tuck our belt buckle upwards to feel a bit of a stretch here. Some key things that we're going to really try to avoid is in the process of trying to glide forward and create that front hip flexor stretch. Uh, we really want to, again, avoid from uh, an extension position. Oftentimes getting into this kind of posterior push uh, can irritate a little bit of the low back. And so if you do this properly and you start to get this hip hinge uh, coordinated pretty well, when you get to the front end of the stretch and you tilt the pelvis, you can actually be in a bit of a forward lean and still feel a really good stretch here on the top side of the hip. Okay, we would obviously want to do that uh, in the other directional where we would again glide forward and tuck that pelvis upwards to feel a good uh, hard stretch higher in the hip rather than lower so we can know that the uh, quads are not being engaged uh, and we're actually hitting the hip flexors. If you have trouble getting down on your knees, which is often the case for some folks, we can actually do this standing. Uh, similarly, you're just kind of kind of want to get into a nice uh, you know, wide A-frame position. You can use something for some support if you need something to hold on to. The idea here is to kind of bend both knees and sit down. We really want to still continue to stay uh, in a neutral position here. And then again, we'll, we'll, we'll initiate that tilt mechanism of the pelvis where we're kind of posteriorly push or trying to get our pelvis upwards or our belt buckle up towards our chin to feel a good stretch here. And again, you can have a little bit of a lean forward if you're doing that properly and should feel that. If you want to get it a little bit higher, you can certainly sink down a little bit more and tuck and then kind of rotate away a little bit. But again, we really want to avoid any extension ability of that low back so we don't irritate that any further. If you have any questions, you can reach us here uh, at 843-884-1876 or catch us online at atlanticspineclinic.com.